This is the second time you've seen me face. Alright guys, today I'm going to do something different. And I'm going to shoot it this way. We're going to talk about my lot least favorite DC UC figures. My top five, my least five. So, my least five favorites. Here we go. Number five, 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 five. Hooah. You might disagree with me, but these are my choices. And you probably have your own choices. But here is the reason why I do not like Captain Boomerang. Captain Boomerang, he is not a very good figure, at least QC wise. And um, when I first bought him, his and I straightened it out, but his arm was just way out of whack. It was just like this way, going this way, and it wasn't cool at all. And then um, this flimsy, flimsy, what, what do you call this, uh, boomerang? This flimsy boomerang that they um, gave him. Uh, the, I don't have one, but the Sportsmasters from the Young uh, Justice, Young Justice, all right, yeah, Young Justice line, has a much better, thicker boomerang. And if you look at Black Vulcan's side of his head, this is, I think, the same thing but sturdier. So they could just gave us a black Vulcan. See these things on the side of black Vulcan's head is the same thing as this. But this is just less from a quality. These things on his head are much sturdier. They could give us one of those and I would have been happy. So don't pick your nose on camera. So here we go. So I had warped issues and he's very kinda he doesn't have loose leg syndrome but his but his um, ankle articulation is very weak and um, he has weak weak ankle his leg and his ankle articulation is horrible so I never I started doing a review a long time ago on him before I made my rating system and I rate this figure as dog vomit number five so let's go on to number four and you're probably going to be like, oh, Chapman Films, no, you didn't. I did. I'm going there. Here we go. I apologize. Robin, you're like, no, it can't be right. I can't be right. But Robin, of course, due to QC issues, his legs are all messed up. I mean, Mine are frozen, and I've seen so many reviews where, or comments about people's legs are breaking. You know, their ankles are breaking because these little pixie boots he has on. Besides that, he is a cool figure. But I do not like his legs. His legs, and he stands so strange. You know, I can't even get him stand up. He has to stand on the back of the bookcase just to prop him up. And um, besides that, he's so expensive now, too. So I really, really hate that, you know. I would try to mess with those legs more, but I don't want to break them. I don't even have the other one, the um, variant one, the classic-looking one. I don't have that one. And I don't want to spend another one just for a head. Spend any more money just for a head. So, number four, because of ankles. And I would rate this as, this needs improvement. Mattel. Very, very. Almost dog vomit. I almost rate this as dog vomit. But, um, because it's Rob and I just rate this as needs improvement. But he's still number four because I'm very disappointed. And number three. I can't count. Number three. And you're probably like, oh, Chapman Films, why'd you damn huh, number three? Because of this issue here. It's Starfire. Yeah, there's a couple issues I have with her. Like mine right here, I can't, it can't, it's hard to tell now, but this, when I first got her out of the package, her leg was like way over here. I thought it was like super broke or something. And uh, she came with the uh, uh, Adam Strange 2-pack. But the other issue is her uniboob. Her boob, there's no cleavage right there. They gave cleavage to Power Girl. But they just attached her boobs together. That's gross. That's uniboob. Uniboob. So, 
because of her leg, and she also has a stamp with Dick Grayson, Robin, on the back of the um, bookcase. So, kind of fitting. This part right here, her underwear is kind of strange too. So, I rate this as because of QC issues. I rate this as dog vomit. I'm very upset because of her legs are so whacked out, and it, you really can't tell now, but it's still a little bit. It kind of goes this way, not too far, and her legs won't close, so it just kind of goes out that way. So, number two on the list is, you ready for this? You're probably like, oh, chatting and feeling you nuts, man. Here is why I rate this one. Number two, Black Canary. Oh, you're like, oh, Chapman Films, that's a hard one to get to. Why would you rate her? I had to buy two of these suckers. Someone um, hooked me up on the on the Mattel um, website, their fan forums. I, was, I told them, look, if any, you know, anyone need any help finding figures? I said, yeah, I would like to get a black canary. And he said, he said this was a peg warmer in his area, which is kind of weird. But he sent me this. Of course, I paid him, and he sent it to me. But in the package still, but her ankles are so weak. They're weak. I, she can't even stand. I mean, so I was like, oh, man. So it really ticked me off. So I went ahead and bit the bullet, paid eBay prices for another one. And guess what happened? Same man, she was weak ankles. Oh, you got to be kidding me. So I did do a transplant, but I used the wrong legs. I did a leg transplant. See, I got a black canary, the one that was super weak, the worst of the bunch. I gave her the Superwoman the five pack. I gave her her legs and, uh, but I should have used Power Girl's boots because then I could attach the netting. But I, I didn't think about it at the time. So this one is new fish nets. But so here is my custom one, which is my default one, which is with display of the JLA. And this one here with the weak angles, you have to prop her up just right. And she's okay. She'll stand up for a while. But her legs are just kind of all weird chick. This kind of goes like that. And um, and one thing I don't like about this figure, her legs don't kick out. You can't kick them out, unlike the other ones. But with my custom one, you can. she can do karate kicks. But I wish I, I used the Power Girl legs. I guess I could buy another Power Girl and reattach some legs. Oh, I don't have the nettings no more, so I guess I can't do it. But that is number two on my list. All right, number one, the worst DCUC figure of all time that I despise. I don't despise, I'm just so mad at Mattel. And you're gonna be like, oh, chat Vince, we knew that one was coming because Electric Netminder are just in the personal message you sent to me. I told him I was gonna do this series. Number one, worst figure of them all. Here we go. Na 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 na. Superman. You're like, Chapman Fields, what are you talking about? He has. Oh, now you don't have it. There you go. You got broken ab crunch. You got loose leg syndrome. This whole. I'm going to go on forever about this. This whole part right here is just all loosey goosey. Loose leg syndrome, broken ab crunch. He saw my video, I bought like two extra ones. I still have them, they're in the trash, but. So, and I and I, 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 did, I did find a perk at Superman, so go watch that video. But I had to spend a lot of money to get the perfect Superman. Yeah, I could have did like what that one guy said, um, I think Rob Rogue said. I could have called Mattel, but it's more fun complaining about it than actually calling them. So, let's do a recap. Dog vomit. Oh, you know what? Even on electric detonators, his belt is like, on his video, his belt's like way over here for some reason. So, I rate this as dog vomit due to QC issues. I might as well just write this as dog vomit because of his ankle issues. Leg issues, dog vomit. Number two. Not cool. This is, and the uniboob. We don't want the uniboob. Women cannot have uniboobs. And number one. Broken ab crunch. That just takes me off. Number one, dog vomit. So these are my worst, not my favorite DC, DC figures. You will probably disagree with me, 
But if you spend this much money on figures, you want them perfect. Thank you, Mattel. And I'm not complaining or anything, because I could always send these back, but it's much more fun complaining. Alright, guys. This is probably the last time you see my face. So, see ya. Bye.